The goal of a short hike is to get to the top of the mountain. Sort of. There's no pressure to do so. You can take your time and explore. And while getting to the top is rewarding, exploring the Hawk Peak Provincial Park is more so. You can't rush to the top anyway. You need to become a more experienced climber. You do this by exploring the park and collecting golden feathers. You're not alone in the park, though. There's all kinds of characters to meet along the way. Many of them have quests and advice to help to get to the peak. More important, they have personality. They're genuine. The quests are simple but push you to explore. And you'll be exploring a lot. You'll want to walk all the winding mountain trails. They lead to some excellent views, as you would expect. You can peer down and see more areas you'll want to investigate. The game makes exploring easy. The main character is a bird and can glide without limit. It's wonderful there's no mechanic that forces you to land. That would become frustrating. The gliding is so much fun and easy to do. My favorite activity is to climb high and glide down looking for interesting stops. I always find a new place to traverse. A short hike also has those glasses you find along trails. You know, the ones where you pay a quarter and get a more zoomed in view. They're useful for finding even more places you might be missing out on. Side note, the whole game is low res, but is awesome to look at. But what's even better is how objects in the distance are rendered as only outlines. It's a nice touch that's beautiful. The location is so important for a short hike. The beautiful nature. There are so many different locations for such a small game. The terrain is interesting and all the trails are beautiful. I would like to hike them in real life. There's a sense of wonder, a feeling anything could be around the corner, and usually there is. There are so many places to stop on the glide back down. Items to pick up, secrets to dig up. Do I need to mention that a short hike is casual? There's no fail state. The worst that can happen is you'll fall and need to climb back up. I enjoyed a change of pace from all the other games I've been playing. While some story is set up in the beginning, it doesn't drop a lot on the player. This is a chill experience. Taking my time to explore every part of Hawk Peak Provincial Park was fun. I didn't get everything. It took about an hour to get to the top without going crazy seeing everything. I could see going back and replaying because I know I saw an artist in the distance with those trail glasses and I didn't find that artist. Overall, a short hike is fun and sincere. More importantly, it feels personal to the developer, which I love. It's the same feeling I get from Wandersong, a more relaxed experience than I normally go for, but it works, it's worth your time. One of those feel-good indies that's short, but great.